Welcome back to episode 7 of season 1 of Project Lightful. We're going to be reviewing the assembly of the vertical stabilizer, spars, and ribs. I ran into some trouble with the pneumatics squeezer. I think I've gotten past those now, but I'll talk more about those as we go through the footage. Let's take a look. So the first step is obviously reattaching everything together with Clecos. I was very glad to see that the uh, Milwaukee Sharpie that I'm using uh, did bleed through the primer so that my uh, orientation marks were still present. Um, they were still easily legible, though they were a bit faded since I'm using a, a white primer, so it, it worked out okay. What I will be doing in the future though is spending a little bit more time considering the placement of those marks and how I can hide them uh, within the structure. I had done them on the front of all of the, the hinge brackets, which in hindsight now I kind of wish that I hadn't. So I might come back and uh, give it a, another coat of primer later in the future just on those hinge brackets to try to hide those orientation marks. So the pneumatic squeezer is new to me. I've never used one before, and I have been having a little bit of trouble with it. I've had to squeeze every rivet uh, multiple times um, and still was finding that it wasn't quite squeezing it all the way. After some discussion with some experienced builders, um, we kind of narrowed it down to the cam action and then also the airline that I'm using. I have Flexzilla Airline, so I went and bought a hard PVC airline instead. So hopefully that will take care of all the, the problems I'm having with that squeezer. So this video is going to be a bit shorter for the vertical stabilizer spar assembly. Without having that rivet gun, I'm not able to squeeze the rivets that attach the nose rib and the root rib to the front spar. And then also that rivet gun is needed to do all of the skin riveting to the spars and ribs. So until that gets here, this is going to just sit on the on the wall and wait and we're going to continue working on the horizontal stabilizer so that we're not losing any time on this project. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying these videos. I definitely learned a lot about using powered squeezers during this video and also in talking with the various group members on Facebook. If you're not already a member of the Facebook groups for the Vans Aircraft Builders, I highly recommend that you join them. Great community there and you know everyone's always willing and happy to help you figure out what's going on and get you the right solution. So with that guys, where we're at in terms of total time, uh, 11 hours of build time, 20 hours of total project time including inventory and cleaning items, and 33 hours once you add in the video editing. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead, hit that like button for me, leave a comment below for a question or a suggestion, always happy to get comments from you guys, really enjoy those, and then hit that subscribe button and click that bell to follow along. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.